and so we get to the beam section and the unilith in the middle that we're going to make and here we have a bunch of examples and all right then i'll close this and go to the revit file and then up here from the file section new click on family then scroll down here and then i'll select the metric structural framing this one that has beams so i open it up and then here we have a default configuration so let's go to the left view and see what we have here all right so this square that we have in the middle uh, the first thing we do is go here and control this here i'll press wt let me just close the 3d view for now so here wt and we have these two just be careful not to touch these lines that we have here these are the extensions that have been added from the 2014 version and the later ones and they give you the option to choose how the column and the beams are connected then this one is related to the symbolic lines and then this one's about our own structural connections so then from the create tab i'll click on reference and then i'll draw a reference here and then another one here and then another one perpendicular let's see cancel here and then select measure and then click from here and then to here then from here to here and then equalize and then these two together so here i'll select this one and then i'll name it let's just edit it for now and give it a better look as well so here we'll edit the text size to two and then for the read convention put in zero here transparent then apply and then put this on fix and then two for witness then apply and there we go so i'll select this and here create parameter and so here i'll create a new parameter and i'll give a name to it so as we said if this needs to be in the surveying and the estimates we need to put this under the shared parameter but for now we just want to weigh these ones and measure them and then we'll enter them in the estimates so now put this on singular parameter because we want to create a beam in which even the weight of the rebars in it are measured so here i'll name this parameter t underscore base underscore concrete and then put it under type and after that hit ok to close it so after we've done these we'll go here and put the scale on one fifth all right change it to one tenth again and all right then select this one and then create parameter and then i'll name this one uh, w underscore joists and then hit ok then i'll select this and then click on edit then delete it and then delete this line and then this one and then selecting rectangle i'll draw the shape here and after that i'll lock it in these places then finish up so let's take a look at the 3d view to see what we have here all right wt let's turn the view back and then change it again and there we go let me see just for one second i just want to put the screen on this side all right and there it is much better here right click and select shaded there we go and the rest are fine as well so then i'll go here and open up the family types and here i'll edit the base concrete the one that we have for thickness and put in 50 millimeters 
and then for the width put in 140 millimeters or just 14 centimeters then I'll select it and give it a new parameter here select the structural material and then name it concrete then OK then I'll save the file in the structural families folder and then here I'll save the file and name it st underscore joists let me just edit it and type in the st as well in the beginning of the name all right and then after that open up the options and put the maximum backups at one and then save so now we want to specify the linear rebars that we have in this and we're going to do so according to the details that we have here in the autocad file let's just take a look to see where it is in the plan it's let's see it's right here let's go in here and zoom in and it's these ones so here we have two fee 16 plus one fee 14. all right so these are for the lower part the base and then for the top bar we have one fee 12. all right so let me minimize this and then let's go back to the rivet and then here in the left view that we have i'll select reference and put one here and after that uh, put another one here and then draw another one here then i'll equalize these together and then this one goes from here to up here in this point so then i'll select this and then i'll name it h underscore top underscore rebar then put it under type and then after that okay after that we go to this part down here that we have i'll select this and open up the parameter properties and then name this one b as in bottom and then underline rebar underline space put this under type as well and then after that i'll hit ok so then we open up the family types and then i'll edit the h1 to 25 centimeters and then this one will be 10 centimeters so 100 millimeters and here in the plan i'll draw another reference line so now this point here and the collision point that we have with this line up here so this part in the middle is where we'll draw the rebars then select this and bring it over here and then we'll name this one let's see let's open up the parameter properties for example i'll write in d underscore rebar underscore base then put it under type and okay after i've done that i'll go here and open up the family types again and then change the rebar base to 20 millimeters then i'll go here in the create tab and i'll select extrusion then i'll select the left panel that i have here reference plane and then okay after i'm done that i'll go here and select the circle tool and then i'll draw three circles in the plan here another one here then i'll select these three and then i'll check the center mark visible box all right let me bring this over here so you can see it more clearly and then i'll open up the work plane here and then here i'll select the member left option and okay or maybe i'll put it on center let me open up the work plane again and yes we have the center here now it looks better and then using a line i will lock this with this one and then this one with this one lock this one with this line 
and then this one with this one and then lock this one with this point and it's all okay up to this point.